Welcome to my channel. My name is Dale Hawthorne, and I want to respond to uh, Jordan Peterson's message to the churches. I watched the message twice, at least twice, and I thought it over. And uh, I do have to say, is he correct? Yes and no. When he addressed the Protestant churches, he seemed to be addressing the problems that we know have been going on with the mainline Protestants. The traditional um, liturgical denominations such as Lutherans, Methodists, um, Episcopalians, Ang or Anglicans, uh, uh, United Church of Christ, uh, Presbyterians, etc. Um, the thing is, I don't think he addressed really the evangelical churches. I think that they, I would hope that he didn't um, lump in the conservative churches which preach the gospel with the mainline the mainline uh, churches uh, the mainline Protestants uh, the liberal churches the churches which uh, went on with liberal theology uh, traditionally since the 1800s so evangelical churches really do tend to be uh, strongly resistant to the type of ideologies that alienate beat down and drive away young men make so I still believe though that what his main point should very much be taken by the evangelical churches as something that we do need to do. We do need to reach out to young men. Let's think about the Jesus Revolution back in the 60s. That started by a man named Chuck Smith. You can still find his messages and his name around Calvary Chapel in California where some uh, recently born-again hippies and uh, rock stars uh, started attending his church. They were pretty much burned out, and they came to Christ, and they started attending his church. And that's kind of where the Jesus Revolution, the, um, the classic Christian rock, came from, too, because that's all they had to do when they came to Christ. They, all they had to offer was their music, and they used that as their platform to uh, talk about the Lord. So we still need to reach out to young men, so basically, love them, give them the love of Jesus, share the scriptures with them, evangelize them, show them the Jesus of the scriptures, and lead them to faith in the Jesus of the scriptures. Show them how to live a consistent Christian life. Show them how to live in the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. And especially the parts of the Bible to direct them to, to help to discipline, rearrange their life. Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, um, of course, we want to share the, the Gospels with them, the life, uh, what, the, what they had to see about the Jesus life and ministry, the uh, Romans, Galatians, all the standard, no testament, but also Proverbs, and then the pastoral epistles. First and Second Timothy and Titus, which deal with developing leadership. Um, they may not be able to be an elder, but I think it's a very worthy ambition. That's in Scripture to seek to have the qualifications of an elder. And there's only one place, uh, one pastor I ever worked with in the past who ever tried to point me in that direction personally. So please, please, please reach out to young men. Even if they're not related to any family in the church, reach out to young men. If you have an alpha group or any other type of a small group Bible study, invite them. Invite them to share, to open up, to talk about about what they see happening. Reach out to them and love them because that's what Jesus did. And let's take a look at the, uh, he did reach out to 12, 12 people who be named apostles and there were other men there. So Jesus very definitely did reach out to young men and old men, middle-aged men, etc. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I hope that this uh, does guide us uh, to how to, how to work with what Jordan Peterson said to us. Thank you.